WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. All Star Weekend has a lot of glitz and glamour, but at the heart of it, it's about a game people learn to love as kids. The NBA went back to its roots Friday with a junior NBA day. More than 2,000 kids brought their A game to the Indiana Convention Center Friday morning. They ran through drills and took shots with basketball legends such as former Pacers All-Star Roy Hibbert. The NBA is investing in youth sports and launched a junior NBA league in Indiana last year. They believe it's a reminder of what makes the game great. Youth sports has the ability to transform lives. We know that uh, sports connects communities in very deep ways and exposes young people not just to physical and health benefits, but also teaches life skills that are really hard to learn in other areas of, of life. Junior NBA will also host basketball tournaments for both boys and girls throughout All-Star Weekend. Volunteers are essential to making sure big events in the city go smoothly. This NBA All-Star Weekend, over 3,000 people are volunteering their time. From greeting guests to taking pictures and making sure the city stays clean, volunteers are vital to the entire process. Jill Wells is no stranger to volunteering. She volunteered for the Super Bowl back in 2012 and several Big Ten events. She says it's all about the experience. It's fun to see what Indiana and Indianapolis is bringing in. I mean, Indianapolis is such a big city and we're bringing in all this cool stuff. And I think it's just really neat to see what our city is doing. All volunteers get a swag bag with a lot of NBA All-Star merch and there are still opportunities to volunteer. Indy Sports Corp says you can check out the opportunities right now on their website.